Good morning, everyone. Okay, so we're like day 15, 16, I'm not even sure anymore, into quarantine. Everything is kind of just starting to blur together a little bit, and I've had a lot more time at home, so I thought I would talk to you about one of the most important things in my life, and that is food. And today I'm gonna to show you what I eat in a day and also what I snack on as well. So let's do it. First things first is coffee. There's nothing like a good morning coffee. So this is a little Nespresso machine and we've got the little pods here. And it's easy, no waiting time at all. Then I add in this creamer, it's from Snickers. And I know you think it's bad for you, but surprisingly it's actually not. So good, it's the closest you can get to having a Snickers chocolate bar for breakfast without actually having a chocolate bar for breakfast because I gotta pretend at least to be a good adult. Next is eggs, and I always use some variation of eggs for breakfast, like whether it's like scrambled or an omelette or whatever it is. Today I'm gonna do fried with a little bit of turkey and some spinach, and I love having that for breakfast just because one, it's super easy, it's only a few ingredients, super cheap, and it's also really, really quick to make. And now I'm just gonna go in with some avocado oil. Spray the pan. And I normally make two eggs for me and then three for Alex. And this is kind of just a really simple breakfast. It's one that you can do if you're time poor or just feeling a little bit lazy. So while these are cooking, I'm just gonna quickly cut up some cucumber and some little cherry tomatoes just to have on the side. Just throw it on the plate. Spinach, eggs, turkey. So I decided I want a little piece of garlic toast for breakfast. So I just threw in some more avocado oil and I'm toasting that up. Yes, I just used my fingers. So while that's cooking, I just finished plating everything else up. Super quick and easy. This is Alex's. He's got three eggs and I've got two. I just cut up some cucumber and when that toast is done, I'm just gonna throw a little bit of garlic butter on it. This is my saving grace. My favorite thing in this kitchen is probably garlic butter. I cook with this all the time. You can use it on anything. You can use it on fish if you're baking it. You can do veggies in it. You can do literally anything and it, it just, ugh, so good. So breakfast is finished. So you can see I just put the turkey down, put the eggs on top, nice and simple. And of course I've already had a few bites. And look who showed up just in time for food. That's really good. She's the best cook, I'm telling her. She's actually really good. I'm a lucky man. When you say it on camera, I get really nervous because I'm not. And the good cooks out there are like, what? No. So I'm gonna make some overnight oats and this is one of my favorite things to make. It's super easy. It's a snack that you can just have in the fridge. It's relatively healthy depending on what you add it in. All right, so I do normally use a almond milk, but because the stores have been so empty, I actually use almond coconut this time. So I just add in a little bit. I never cover it. Oh my gosh, it's, it's closed. Whoops. And I don't pour, fill it all the way up. I kind of just go like maybe halfway. This is my favorite thing. Honey, yummy, yummy. So normally I would crush those up, but I think that I'm just gonna mix it in today because I'm only really just making a little amount for a snack later on. And I'm gonna go in with some granola. And the last thing I'm gonna add into this is some chia seeds. So these, if you haven't ever had them before, they're really good when they're soaking something because they kind of expand a little bit. I decided I'm actually gonna add in some chocolate protein as well. So I'm actually not even gonna measure that in. I'm just gonna give it a nice little, a little, the technical measurement from, um, Right from the cookbook. I'm just gonna add a little bit more milk over the top so it can sit. And I'm gonna cover it up now in the fridge for a little bit and I'll come back to it in a few hours and hopefully it should be good. So it's one o'clock and I'm snacky. I still haven't had lunch yet. I'm not quite hungry enough for lunch yet so I'm just gonna grab a quick snack. Time for the overnight oats that we made earlier. And I took it out of the bowl that I was in and put it into these little cups and just sprinkled some cinnamon on it. So that is gonna be my snack now. And I also got some chicken out today for us for lunch. And just, I've got some little veggies that I've prepped as well. So, here we go, snack time. This is so good. This has to be one of my favorite foods in the world, honestly. It's really good and you can sweeten it. You can put like berries on top, like for you, like strawberries, frozen berries, whatever. Mango would be so good too. So surprise, surprise, Alex and I are hungry again. So I'm just gonna make some lunch for us. I'm gonna make some grilled chicken breast. 
we've got some rice as well. So guys, rice is sold out everywhere. So this rice is just one that you put in the microwave for like 90 seconds. So we have a little bit of that left over. We have some cabbage that I already cut up and I'm just gonna grill it up nice and easy, really fast. Just got the skillet heating up and I've got the chicken breast here. It's all trimmed, I trimmed up all the fat and I'm just gonna quickly season it. So I'm just gonna go with some salt and my pepper. And I'm also gonna use a little bit of garlic salt just cause garlic salt gives it the best flavor. So I've just done the one side and I'm gonna throw that on the hot plate. Now that it's on, I just turn the heat down just a little bit. And I'm just gonna go in now and season the other side. I'm actually gonna add on some, some red pepper as well. I've just turned this down to a really low heat so now that it's brown on the outside, it can cook and the juices can soak in. And... I'm gonna quickly cut these things up. These things in here as well. Finished up lunch, so I just did a lime citrus chicken with some garlic salt, some really simple garlic beans, avocado, spinach and greens with some nice cabbage and some long grain rice. This is definitely something that I would normally have on an average day for lunch just because it's quite filling and it's really easy to make. It only took less than 10 minutes from start to finish. So we're probably gonna make dinner, probably not until maybe seven-ish. So I may have another snack in between then, but I will keep it posted. Okay, so it is dinner time. It is 8.16 p.m. We finished up all of our work today. It was just a really, really busy day, and I don't know if anyone else is in the same boat as me. I don't know if you're finding that with this quarantine, that being at home so much, like your hours are starting to warp together. Like, it's, it's very weird. I feel like I'm losing the concept of time a little bit, which is kind of weird, so... Anyway, it's 8.17 and I'm just going to quickly make up a stir fry. So I prepped my veggies earlier, so I just had these, separated them for a salad. I've got some extra beans and carrots that we've already cut up and also coriander, which I didn't tell you, but I also did put on lunch. I absolutely love cooking with coriander. And I'm gonna quickly cut up some zucchini. And then this is the rest of the chicken breast that we didn't use at lunch. So I'm gonna cut this up, cook it up. I just bought a separate little, um, little pack of teriyaki sauce. So we're gonna use that one and some soy. some coriander and I'm gonna put the lid on that so that that can steam just made up some little teriyaki noodles as well so I've just finished up now I added in a little bit more soy sauce added in some more chili we're gonna quickly serve it up and like magic clockwork look who has appeared again it's time <laughs> it's time for dinner it's finished up finally. It's a nice, easy veggie stir fry and teriyaki noodles as well. So we just sat down to eat, which of course is my favorite part. So thank you guys so much for watching this video today. I hope that you learned something or even got inspired to make some healthy snacks of your own. I hope that you are all healthy and most importantly safe during this quarantine. And I will see you guys in my next video.